Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I am here to do your daily vibes for Monday, the 30th of July. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. And, you know, if this feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay. This is what I'm picking up on for a message today. But it may not be your message. Okay, it may or it may not be. The moon reversed with the seven of wands. Somebody is needing to defend themselves, stand up for themselves. There's a reality check. Something is being revealed. The truth is coming out or the truth has been revealed or the truth is being accepted. I can no longer ex escape the reality. Escaping the truth. I can't escape the truth. I realize that I can't escape this truth anymore. And it's time for me to, to stand up for myself. For some of you have come to the realization that whatever this thing that you were trying to escape the reality of is not fruitile. It doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. It's a dead end. There's no, there's no union to be had here. The end of a contract with that lover's reverse. There's an end of a contract. There's been too much conflict. Lack of communication. Somebody has not been communicating. There's been no contact. There's been no emotional support from this situ one of these partners or both. Somebody has held on, held on to escaping the reality for quite some time, obsessed. Obsessed with basically like a fantasy. I mean, the moon upright is kind of like a fantasy. It is. Obsession. Now they've decided to move away. To, to step outside of this. I need to go find some peace. I need to find some serenity. And the only way to do that is to stand up for myself and accept the reality and stop holding on. It's time for me to invest my time elsewhere. I can't be worried about this anymore. I, I can't. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to hold on to this worry, this anxiety, this loss, this mental turmoil, I'm not going to hold on to it anymore. I'm letting it go. Because it's time for me to be practical and responsible and logical and wise and mature. Somebody has gained enough inner security and wisdom to know that this contract that they have been obsessed with, that has been causing them so much worry and anxiety, doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. So they're closing that door. Nines are closure. Somebody is closing a door to something that is unrealistic and was some sort of fantasy. An obsession. Somebody was obsessed with 
with standing their ground in regards to whatever they were obsessed with <clears throat> that wasn't real. But now they've decided that this is a dead end. It's a dead end. I realize, I realize this is a dead end. And I need to let the idea that if I wait forever, this will come back. Somebody has waited and waited and waited and waited for something to happen, to grow to come to fruition. <clears throat> They've waited. But now it's like, you know what? I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm not. It's time for me to do what's right for me. Because this is unrealistic. It's, it's unrealistic. There's, there's no compatibility here anymore. There's no more contract. There's no more union. There's no communication. And the wise thing to do is to be practical and stop holding on to something that doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. So I feel like today is a day of maybe, you know, taking a taking a another step out of this fantasy land. Allowing yourself to fully recuperate, taking the last steps. Somebody may have been feeling really empty inside, holding on, waiting. You know, there's a period of solitude that somebody went through that has enlightened them. It was, there was a lot of mental turmoil. But this mental turmoil was making them wiser. I'm not saying that mental turmoil is good. We all go through it. But it's brought you wisdom. Accepting your thoughts. Feeling them, owning them. And releasing them. So I feel like today is a day of somebody moving away. Moving away from... Waiting and holding on to an obsession. It's moving away from resisting change. It's moving away from fantasy. It's doing what's right for you and letting this contract truly end. Let's get some clarifiers here. So somebody decides to accept the truth. The truth is being accepted here. It is. It is. After somebody has held on and been obsessed with a lie fantasy for so long. Somebody has been obsessed with something that doesn't serve them for quite some time. Okay. Could be seven years could be seven months, could be four years or four months as well. Oh, these just fell over. Oh my goodness, look at this. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. They're all upright. It's time to be noble. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to focus on yourself. It's time to focus on love. 
your own love, self-love. It's time to regain your concentration, your confidence, your courage, your stability, your security. It's time to follow your intuition, and that's what somebody's doing. Somebody is finding the strength, the willpower, the devotion to put themselves first. It's time for me to put myself first and get back into my own element. I feel like at this time, there's, a, there's somebody that is, is being very, very practical, wise, and working on bringing back stability to their lives. I'm going to take control of my life. Taking back control of my life right now because I love myself enough to do so. I'm ready for victory and success. And, and, and I think that somebody has found their self-respect. Let me just go shut this window. Didn't help much, did it? Somebody's cutting something outside. Somebody has regained the confidence, the self-love, the self-worth, the self-respect to put themselves first after holding on to a dead-end situation that was a fantasy. So let's get a couple of oracle cards for this reading. Somebody is progressing towards victory and success because they move away. They move away from this fantasy land, this fantasy that they've been holding on to. They let the contract, the false contract end. They let it end. Put this right here next to the Queen of Pentacles. Ground yourself. Oh my goodness. When you detach from awareness of your body in the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. And that's where the fantasy comes in. When you believe a fantasy that's you're not grounded and i feel like th somebody has absolutely decided to come back down to earth <laughs> and accept the truth of this contract not going to work out this contract this is a contract is not going to work out i love myself to put myself work first stand up for myself and follow my intuition I'm no longer going to see myself as a victim I'm no go longer going to lay back and wait for nothing to happen I'm going to be the boss of my own life This one and this one <laughs> I can't keep them all there's too many relationships I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good envy I am the same as everybody but with different challenges This is accepting who you are and realizing what you're worth. That's what this is about. Somebody is allowing this fantasy contract to end because they're coming back down to earth and they have more self-respect than they did.
I deserve love. It's time to be practical. Talk to you later.